Will you share it now? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you are able to see the complete presentation? Only slide I can see. Sanat. Okay. Sanat. I'll once again restart one second. Okay, okay, okay. It was fine, sir. No, no. It was fine. Full screen, full screen. Okay. Now, now I went full screen. Okay. Yeah, we can start. Yeah, just one minute. Yeah, good evening to another present here. I am Dr. D.L. Vintage Babu. Welcome to you all, the participants and the speaker of the day, Dr. L.R. Manjunath. This is the... This meeting is being recorded. This is the 25th uh, lecture series organized as upskilling program for the Nirmiti Kendra engineers on the topic construction management and economics. The total number of lectures uh, scheduled is 52 numbers. 13 days first phase we completed offline. Now this is the 12th lecture in the online series. And Monday onwards again uh, the offline series will uh, commence. See, as a part of uh, this uh, construction management engineer economics, see, yesterday the speaker has highlighted all the advantages and uh, concrete chemicals and admixtures, all these things. And today, with this uh, industry expert with 30 years of experience, Dr. L. R. Manjunath, with us, is a leading uh, industry consultant with respect to the applications of mineral admixtures. Yesterday, the only we have discussed about the chemical admixture. Today, you are going to see what is the applications, advantages of using mineral admixtures in making concrete mortar for various uh, construction activities. See, nowadays, the sustainability is the buzzword everywhere. How to make sustainable concrete? To design a sustainable concrete, you must use sustainable materials. In that, in that aspect, today's speaker is going to highlight well, what are the various uh, products available with respect to sustainability, how to make the concrete sustainable as designed for lifespan. And uh, I welcome on behalf of the center and my on behalf of director and my own behalf, I welcome wholeheartedly Dr. L. R. Manjanath, Vice President, Direct Sales and Sustainability Initiatives. And also, sir, is a, currently a chairman of Indian Concrete Institute. Welcome you, sir, for this uh, online guest lecture meeting. And also, I'm very thankful to you for accepting our invitation and sparing your valuable time with us to share some of the things, how to develop a sustainable concrete in order to make a sustainable construction. Finally, our structures are sustainable in nature. And also, I welcome our director, sir, uh, Srinivas Rao Kulkarni, sir. And also, I will welcome all the Nirmiti Kendra engineers just for the information of our today's guest. 20 centers are representing Nirmiti Kendra. They are online already joined, going to join, sir. And also a lot of postgraduate students with the construction technology and materials, they are also going to join just to benefit your lecture. We have shared at Nagarjuna College of Engineering, student ICA and civil engineering programs. And uh, those who are interested, they may join. Uh, this is the uh, what the audience of the, for this today's lecture. <clears throat> Welcome once again, all of you. Uh, before going to the lecture, a brief introduction about the today's speaker, Dr. L. R. Manjunath. Uh, Dr. L. R. Manjunath is a Vice President, JSW Limited, Direct Sales and Sustainability Initiatives. Re and also, I am happy to share that recently has been awarded the Construction Industry Development Council Vishwakarma Award as the Technologies of the Year 2022. Congratulations, sir. On behalf of all participants, I am congratulating for you for uh, getting this award and many such Thank awards. you, sir. Thank you. The Thank you so much. On, best on you. Thank you, sir. And also, Dr. L. R. Manjunath is also uh, representing many professional bodies for the last two decades in India. Uh, currently, his affiliation and representation is as follows. See, currently, uh, Dr. L. R. Manjunath is a honorary chairman, Indian Concrete Institute, Bangalore Center. And also, <clears throat> uh, 14,000 concrete industry members across India. And also, you know, a member of Working Group of Bureau of Indian Standard, IS4926, Redimix Concrete, and IS383. 
and also has served as a member of uh, the working group of Global Cement and Concrete Association, honorary chair of Technical Society for Development of Composites, a non-profit organization research initiative supported by HUDCO, Karnataka Housing Board, and also is a member of BIS Technical Committee for the Cement Manufacturers Association. Dr. Man L.R. Manjunath is a techno marketing, commercial and branding expert with a total industry experience of 30 years having worked in the construction and building materials industry in India and has been working in the management committees with professional bodies, the Indian Concrete Initiatives, uh, Indian Concrete Institute, INSTRACT, ISTD, ACCE, BMTPC, and uh, RMCA, <clears throat> and also sustainable uh, construction, 3D printing, blended cement, high performance concrete, durability in construction. He has traveled to Singapore to present his research paper at the Structural World Congress 2015 on in invitation by ACC representing JSW Cement and ACC committee member. He has attended the SEWC 2009 World Conference as the chairman of the Indian delegation representing Association of Consulting Engineers India and ACCI and JSW Cement Limited for the Structural Engineer World Congress 2019 held in Istanbul, Turkey from 24 to 26th April. And also he has chaired uh, these technical sessions. One of the important sessions is architectural and environmental engineering at the conference. He has organized more than 200 seminars international conferences, seminars, and 250 webinars. During COVID, uh, sir has conducted more than 250 webinars. It may be hybrid seminars, like both online and offline. Majority is webinars uh, in association with professional bodies like Indian Concrete Institute, ACCI, ACCI District, and also with collaborated with many education institutions and engineering colleges. And sir also invited speaker and a special invite on many committees and conferences. Sir has published 51 research papers in the national international journals and the construction industry magazines. He has published two books on sustainable construction, geopolymer concrete by Lambert Academy Publishing, presented more than 50 national international conferences in uh, seminar, seminars, and invited speakers and panelists of the many conferences like Indian Concrete Institute, organized at IITs and ACE, and uh, Re Reality Enclaves. I'm happy to share that having a more than 50,000 citations for his research papers. Very congratulations, sir. Happy to note this. And also the research gate, research scholars, academic research portals, highest uh, citations and uh, the likes given by the research scholars. And also invited panelists for leading conference on alternate materials in construction. Sir, also a guest editor of NBM, National Building Materials in Construction uh, magazine. It is uh, one sustainable concrete release in the year 2019. Delivered more than 600 guest lectures in many uh, platforms. Happy to note, sir. Congratulations. And also, Thank you, sir. Uh, as a researcher and reviewer of many publications, with your rich experience of 30 years, both as an industry consultant, collaborate many academicians. Today, our August gathering will benefit from your rich uh, information sharing to us, sir. Thank you once again for your time and uh, giving us the opportunity to make use for this uh, series of lectures. Thank you once again, sir. Now I'll request you to take over the session, sir. Thank you, Venkatesh Babu, sir, for an uh, elaborate introduction. Uh, it all happened because of the support from all the uh, industry uh, colleagues, uh, associations, and engineers. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the application of uh, GGPS, a mineral admixture for durable and sustainable construction, sir. Uh, dear friends and uh, engineering uh, uh, members of Dimitri uh, Kendras, uh, it's a, a great moment for India because uh, India is one of the fastest growing economy in the world. And uh, more than 50% of the constructions are going to happen in India and China having a huge population. And uh, India is leading in terms of uh, new development of ports, expressways, metros and huge housing development because of the uh, importance given to infrastructure development. So as we uh, go on constructing, we need to have a lot of material. Uh, currently, the global production of uh, concrete is 20 billion cubic meter. Uh, the global production of cement is 4.1 billion tons. The emission of carbon dioxide from the construction activity is almost uh, 
2.1 giga tons huge uh, co2 emissions are happening and uh, construction industry alone contribute 30% of the uh, total greenhouse gas emissions global and also consumes 40% of the energy and uh, emits 10% of the global dust so these are all uh, various harmful effects associated with the construction but the construction we cannot stop and concrete is the second most consumed material after only water why we consume so much of concrete do we have any other alternative yes there may be so many alternatives sir. unconventional material like bamboo construction you may have steel you may have aluminium you may have metal so many things but to produce all these products you consume lot of energy that's the reason concrete is most preferred material even though it emits carbon dioxide uh, it's most preferred material but there are so many you know, ways of reducing the carbon footprint by using uh, the uh, mineral additives sir, which are by product of either steel industry or uh, thermal power generation uh, called fly ash so these are the two basic minerals apart from we have steel, steel slag we have copper slag and uh, other uh, agricultural uh, additives available no, sir uh, sanat kumar screen is moving no sir yes no no i now i now i am moving screen okay. okay thank you thank you thank you so uh, today we are, we are going to learn all these things sir. why cement manufacturing is not sustainable okay uh, understanding what is ggbs how the product is uh, being manufactured Uh, what are the applications of ggbs or mineral as a mineral additive where and all we can use it what are the various benefits and uh, what is the uh, uh, give back uh, from uh, ggbs usage uh, in terms of uh, co2 reductions we have compared about 6 years six years how much uh, we have sold ggbs how much uh, cubic meter of concrete is made how much uh, million tons of uh, CO2 reduction has happened. All these things we are going to talk about in my presentation, sir. Okay. So talking about my company, JSW Group, one of the largest uh, building materials uh, uh, producing uh, company in India. So we uh, we have steel, one of the largest steel producing uh, company in India. Uh, Close uh, currently about 18 million ton capacity, and going forward, uh, very soon will be 30 million tons capacity. Uh, and also JSW Energy. Uh, currently, we have four five thousand megawatt of uh, energy uh, from um, solar, thermal, and uh, wind, and uh, we are will be a ten thousand megawatt uh, energy producing uh, company very soon. And most of our capacity comes from renewable energy sources. Like that way, JSW Paint launched in two thousand nineteen, uh, both in the decorative and industrial segment. Now it is a very popular brand in the painting segment. all uh, colors uh, of paint at same price that is the uh, the buzzword of jsw paints and we are serving the uh, whole uh, south and western markets and very soon we are entering all india markets so jsw cement as a company started its journey way back in 2009 uh, currently we have 14 million ton capacity so most of the our cement production is eco friendly wherever we are having plants Uh, we are sourcing our raw material either from our uh, thermal power plants fly ash uh, and our steel plants slag and making eco friendly uh, cements so uh, unlike other cement companies we produce 80 to 90% uh, opc cement uh, our uh, 95% of the production is only eco friendly cement that's the reason jsw cement has become uh, the global leader in uh, reducing the carbon footprint we are proud to say we are the lowest carbon uh, uh, emitting company lowest carbon footprint company in the world these are the uh, types of product jsw is manufacturing slag cement our hallmark is slag cement because we get lot of slag from our steel manufacturing composite cements we are manufacturing sand we are manufacturing ggps we are manufacturing ready mix concrete which is very eco friendly and also we are producing construction chemicals Uh, like uh, waterproofing chemicals floor hardeners and also ready plaster this is the range of products all are green products except uh, uh, wherever some requirement of opc cement is there uh, as a uh, material supplier we supply some quantity otherwise most of our product are green products you can see all are uh, green products ranging from cement to chemicals to 
uh, mineral admixtures. So uh, the background is that concrete is most consumed material and also uh, requires a lot of energy to produce. And uh, uh, off late, what's happening that there are new generations concrete uh, which are available now, which are eco-friendly. So we need to go because we require a lot of resources to make concrete. So I told you 20 billion metric ton uh, cubic meter of concrete being made and going forward it may be 30 billion cubic meters. So how much you require? You may require 50 billion tons of uh, sand. You may require uh, 9 billion tons of uh, cement. You require huge water. And uh, unless you replace this uh, uh, natural uh, resources like uh, limestone using uh, SCMs or river sand by M sand, you are not going to make your construction sustainable. This is the overall global production of uh, cement manufacturing, as I told you. And uh, our population is continuously growing. So uh, by 2050, they say the population of the world will be 9.2 billion. Imagine. And India, close to 1.6 billion population. So 160 crores population from India alone. So India will be the most populous country very soon, maybe next 5 to 10 years, overtaking China. And our land mass is lesser than China or America. That's the reason that there's a huge resource constraint. We need to continuously build our uh, roads, bridges, uh, apartments, everything we have to build. And uh, availability of resources, because so much construction happening concentrated only in India uh, because of the huge development. Where will you bring the resources for uh, doing all these developments? Very tough, I said, no. So the market drivers are energy conservations, uh, preserving the land, preserving the natural resources, preserving water, and also you have to need to do construction because construction cannot stop. So you have a challenge to address. Why we have a challenge to address? Because as I already told you earlier, the construction industry alone consumes 40% of the world energy, 30% of the greenhouse gases, 10% of the dust, and it consumes a lot of water lot of natural material like limestone, uh, coal, burning is happening. So you, you continue to create uh, concrete jungles. This is what going to happen. So I was telling you why uh, we prefer concrete because um, considering the other uh, materials which are available, aluminum, steel, glass, Portland cement, timber, bricks and concrete and aggregates. So look at the concrete uh, 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 energy uh, requirement. Okay, so it's very least 1.4. Okay, so production energy is very less. That is the reason that uh, concrete is most preferred material in construction apart from cement and aggregate. So huge demand for materials. Similarly, we keep on excavating our mother earth for uh, minerals, for iron ore, for iron uh, for uh, cement making uh, limestone. So uh, continuous uh, emission of carbon dioxide, increase in land uh, fill space, additional capacity in cement factories. These are the various things. But we are going more and more vertical, more and more horizontal. Today, you look at Bangalore, this thousand square kilometer now. Maybe next five years down the line, it may be 1,200 square kilometer. So cities are growing much, much uh, faster. And we are going vertical also. We are building uh, one kilometer kingdom tower. So already we have built uh, 824 uh, Burj Khalifa. So kingdom tower, many high-rise buildings are coming. And uh, even uh, in uh, cities like uh, Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, we are getting uh, many high-rise buildings now. So way forward is to go towards sustainable construction. How we can make the Concrete sustainable. Sir, excuse me, sir. You are in first slide only, sir. No, no, no. 18 slide. Therefore, the slide is not moving. Sanak? Oh, my God. Not moving, sir. Huh? Not moving. Moving, ah, only a mine is no, problem. Please go ahead. Moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we are able to see, sir. Oh, my God. Okay. So, I think now that... Uh, now it is moving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
just to oh scroll sir once again you can scroll nothing wrong there time okay is, yeah okay just what so i will uh, do it later on okay um, so i told you the background for producing 1 ton of uh, cement is uh, you require 1 and 1/2 tons of limestone you require uh, coal energy you require electrical energy so coupled with emission of carbon dioxide because you have to do the calcination okay uh, you have to burn the uh, limestone okay to convert into clinker so apart from these energy requirements and material requirements um, the cement production is not an eco friendly activity a uh, lot of emissions pollutions and uh, these are the various things um, so now what is going to cause is going to cause greenhouse gas effect okay the greenhouse gas effect is going to change the atmospheric temperatures going to warm the planet it is going to increase raise the uh, ocean temperatures the temperature gradient is created among other oceans like atlantic and pacific ocean and indian oceans so with all that what's happening uh, we are going to have a, a warmer planet uh, that is not going to be beneficial uh, the rise in temperature we have to limit uh, they say uh, by 2 degree centigrade from the pre industrial revolution the temperatures are continuously growing so uh, why the reason behind is that uh, the reason behind is the, the countries which are emitting highest carbon dioxide sir we have china uh, population is huge and also they have huge manufacturing industries because of that they are emitting 27% of the total emissions imagine in order of uh, 180 countries Uh, i think uh, maybe i don't know exact number of countries uh, in, uh, in the world so the china contribution is 27% america 11% india 6.6% even though we are very low uh, but uh, we, uh, our expansions are there in steel and cement industry uh, that's the reason that our emissions will continuously grow we need to reduce the emissions uh, at the same time keeping uh, keep, keeping our uh, growth story intact so how it is possible okay so going towards sustainability okay so uh, now coming to our core topic of concrete uh, concrete technology and uh, when we want to make concrete uh, or when we concrete is made we ask for so many things uh, what are the uh, fresh properties of concrete fresh properties means workability okay compactability and what are the uh, uh, chemical admixtures we should use okay so when you uh, look at the uh, ardent property compressive strength flexural strength uh, we are looking at um, then you looking at tensile strength when we look at durability water permeability water absorption uh, rcpt values uh, then uh, alkali silica reactions so we are looking at so many things uh, when we talk about concrete because it's the most consumed material on this planet uh, okay so challenges uh, when we make concrete in a fresh state we have a huge challenge what is that huge challenge okay so you may not have a proper mixing of the concrete okay so and uh, there is no proper uh, combination of water cement ratio and aggregate blending so because of that what will happen so ideal situation for concrete should have a perfect particle packing but uh, generally uh, we have excess bleeding more voids more compact uh, poor compaction bleeding so these are the various uh, challenges in fresh concrete okay so then when the concrete is set uh, what we are looking at concrete we should have a proper cover and uh, should not be any cracks less cracks less, okay uh, there should not be any ingress of uh, atmospheric agent like uh, uh, carbonation carbon dioxide chlorides sulfates moisture should not enter then we are looking at these are the uh, various uh, uh, harmful effects of uh, concrete which attack so ideally we want the concrete to completely crack free and dense and with a very good particle packing but generally in the practical we have cracks and other things okay so the the enemies of concrete as i have already told you the moisture the chloride the sulfates the carbon dioxide all these things attack the concrete and uh, make the reinforcement to corrode when the reinforcement corrodes so finally Uh, the swelling of the uh, reinforced mem member happens because the rust is 10 times uh, volume volumetrically more than the steel keeps on growing finally one day what will happen the reinforcement will give away 
causing the failure of the structures. So, the need of the hour, like uh, these are the challenges when we make concrete. We have environmental challenges, we have social challenges, and we have uh, the concrete uh, durability requirement challenges. Uh, because the concrete is not only used in uh, uh, city like Bangalore, it's used in coastal environment. Uh, we have uh, 6,700 uh, kilometer length of uh, coastline and uh, huge uh, construction development happening along the coastline. So, need to design these structures for to withstand extreme conditions okay so being civil engineer uh, the need of the hour is to uh, work on concrete where we can have a, a concrete which uh, is workable sustainable and durable this is what we are looking at so i'm talking about one product which is a green product which can replace 70 to 75 percent of the opc cement giving enormous uh, cost benefit, okay? It gives uh, 20 to 50% more compressive strength, easily available, easily available, okay? And reducing the carbon footprint, preserving the natural resources, and reducing the life cycle cost of the building. So, these are all can come with one single product called uh, GGPS, which is a byproduct of uh, uh, steel industry, okay? This is a very highly energy efficient product, recyclable and uh, it's a byproduct of the industry. So it gives uh, lead certifications. Okay, this is called GGBS. GGBS is having uh, IS code IS 16714, 2018. Recently the code has come, but the product is in use throughout the world more than 100 years. Germany was the first country which uh, started using uh, uh, this product and um, Many countries, they use up to 75 to 80% or 90% of this product, replacing pure OPC cement. So, the product is generated, uh, my dear uh, engineers. You know the blast furnace, which uh, is used to make steel. So, in blast furnace, what we do, we have coke, we have iron ore, and also we have limestone. This is a flex, okay. You grind it, uh, the coal, the iron ore, and limestone uh, with the additives and all. You create a, a, a raw mill, a raw material, uh, which is fed into the blast furnace. Okay. The blast furnace, uh, this uh, material is heated up to 1,500 plus degree centigrade. Okay. When it is heated up, then uh, we take get the uh, molten iron, which is heavier metal, and we take it out and uh, uh, use it to make various grades of steel, automobile steel, plates, coils, TMT bars, and many applications, stainless steel. So in that process, we get uh, the one more material called slag, which is molten slag, which is about 30 to 35 percent. It's called blast furnace slag. So that will take it out, quench using water jets, and get into a small granular shape. Okay, which is non-metallic in nature. So this is the uh, whole process of uh, uh, blast furnace steel making, where we get the uh, blast furnace slag. And also in steel making, we get steel slag, which is a bit, uh, bit darker in nature. So together in the whole process of steel making, we get around 500 uh, kg per ton of steel making completely. So. When we use this product in the uh, concrete making or steel uh, cement making, the blended cement, we are going to get many benefits. I'm going to explain one by one what are the benefits we are going to get. Going to get improved ultimate strength, flexural strength. The heat of hydration is reduced so that there is no cracking. High resistance to sulfates and chlorides. Improved resistance to corrosion. Very good particle packing. So improved water impermeability. So GGBS is a superior SCM, and also we get lead certification. So these are the total eight benefits. There are many benefits. I'm just listing out important eight benefits for using this product. How we will get all this product? You may be questioning me. This is a raw material. This you are grinding it. Why we can get all these benefits? Sir? Because cement we have been using for so long. Okay. So the reason behind how we will get it is that when we mix the OPC cement along with the GGBS, uh, 50 to 70%. So what we will get, 
calcium silicate hydrate gel that is the dna of concrete the building block of concrete and also we get calcium hydroxide which is like a i can say cholesterol in the body so which is not good for the concrete this cholesterol that calcium hydroxide keep on absorbing moisture carbon dioxide sulfates and chlorides and other impurities acids uh, elements and spoil the concrete integrity of the concrete is spoiled so my dear friend so what the advantage of ggbs so ggbs uh, it's the chemical composition of ggbs itself is having calcium oxide and silicon dioxide that i'll show you in the next slide okay so being cementitious and also both hydrolytic and pyrolytic in nature the ggbs will attack the calcium hydroxide convert into once again additional csl gel so with that additional formation what we will get is that we are going to get a dense concrete the beautiful particle packing as i told you these are the things we get it all the benefits we get from by uh, mixing the opc cement with ggbs okay yeah so going forward the advantages i already told you the mix the psc cement or the composite cement or the opc plus ggbs blend in ready mix concrete giving all these benefits so i was telling why uh, the ggbs will be able to perform the like cement is that this component you look at the clinker component calcium hydroxide 62% whereas ggbs having 40% flyash less than 2% silicon dioxide 22% in cement 35% in ggbs 55% aluminum oxide 5% in cement 14% in ggbs magnesium 3% ggbs 8% so this combination of the oxides the calcium oxide silicon dioxide and aluminum oxide these three combination will work supplement the hydration process by cement and give additional results so where and how we can make use of this beautiful product we can make use of this beautiful product in many areas okay so ready mix concrete we can use cement manufacturing composite cements psc cement block manufacturing ready mix concrete is sheet manufacturing so it finds application in many areas okay apart from having uh, very good oxides uh, the glass content the reactivity component uh, with the uh, ggbs with uh, especially jsw ggbs is more than 95% the glass content as per the is 12089 says 85% should be the glass content uh, whereas jsw ggbs having more than 95% this a global standard so is it so uh, same as a silicon dioxide sir what you are telling sir sir what you are telling is it a silicon dioxide sio2 no you the glass know? content is amorphous the amorphous nature of the product the reactivity okay 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 that is called glass content okay, okay. yeah so the co2 reduction when we manufacture ggbs the energy consumption uh under co2 emission is only 60 kg per ton ggbs maximum 60 kg sir whereas in cement the clinker manufacturing and opc cement manufacturing liberates about 850 to 950 kg co2 so look at the difference almost each ton of ggbs used in the concrete is equal to saving one tree one ton of carbon dioxide so the ggbs reduces co2 by 95% that is the advantage of ggbs so impact of supplemented cementitious material it helps both in social economic and environment the reason behind a triple bottom line of sustainability is addressing the requirement of social the product should be giving social benefit to help the larger uh, uh, population and uh, at the same time uh, reduction in the cost economic benefit and environmental reduction in the carbon footprint we are looking at three a uh, triple bottom line uh, in the sustainability cycle uh, all these are achieved by using this product so why ggbs is eco friendly it is a by product of the steel industry it gives enhanced durability long term life to the concrete it reduces co2 emissions lower embodied energy these are all the hallmark of ggbs what we are using so the mixed design sir so you may always question sir i want to use ggbs 
I've been using OPC Simulator. So what are the changes I have to adopt? No changes to be adopted. Just whatever you are doing already now, you can continue to do same thing. Just the cement component. We are using 300 kg OPC cement in M20 grade concrete. Reduce it by half, 50%. You can go up to 70%, but generally, it's an easy bet you can take 50% replacement. Okay, so no changes in the mixed designs are required. In fact, the GGBS acts as a mineral additive as well as a, um, a, it uh, uh, requires less water. So workability of the concrete mix, mix automatically increases when you use GGBS. So in all the parameter, concrete manufacturing, time, transportation, everything is uh, a good move when you use GGBS. So water cement ratio also can be reduced which helps in enhancing the strength properties. The civil engineering benefits of GGBS with concrete are many. I can say uh, the replacement generally start at 30%, 25% is minimum. So people start with 30%. So the whereas in fly ash, you, you, you can start with 15 and you can end with 30 to 35 maximum as per the coronal provision. But in GGBS, the coronal provision allows up to 70%. That is the beauty because GGBS is having calcium oxide as a component, as an oxide in the concrete body. So various applications, my dear engineers, we can uh, go with uh, starting from 25 to 35% where, where we use early uh, de-shattering, uh, precast elements, precast components. Uh, Nirmiti Kendra does a lot of precast uh, construction, precast elements, uh, blocks, um, then doors, frames, window frames, and other uh, benches, everything. So where uh, there you can uh, comfortably use uh, 25 to 35 percent. I have seen uh, like designer paving one of the precast company using up to 40 percent in their uh, production of uh, precast uh, members, blocks, uh, curb stones, and other precast elements. When you go for underground construction, so uh, the re usage, the replacement can go up to 35 to 50 percent. Okay. Whereas mass concreting applications. Uh, mass concreting is nothing but uh, raft foundations. We have uh, one meter, two meter, three, up to five meter rafts uh, for massive high rise buildings using raft foundation. Their uh, replacement can go up to 65%. Then uh, coastal constructions, marine structures, where uh, they are come in contact with sulfites and chlorides and all, the durability should be more than 120 years and all. There we can go up to 70% replacement with GGBS. That is the advantage of GGBS. So working with GGBS, so placing is easier, uh, lower relative density, uh, smaller particle size, power floating as normal. So working time, uh, enhanced working time up to 0.5 to uh, 2 hours it will give. Slow rate of bleeding, water demand 3 to 5%, compatible with admixtures. So with all the admixtures, it's compatible. So we have got many case studies with GGBS. So the case studies are uh, uh, many because this product is being used for the last 10 years. So I would like to share many case studies one by one uh, where we compared with uh, fly ash mixes, ready mix concrete, uh, uh, where we have done higher replacement of uh, GGBS. And uh, for high rise buildings, Shoba developers we have done in Bangalore. For Bangalore Metro, we have been supplying concrete blocks, uh, which is a very common component in Nirmiti Kendra's concrete block manufacturing. You can use it. So, I'll show one by one. Okay. This is a case study at Nirmiti Kendra, Pune, where M20 to M50 grades of concrete we have done, uh, both GGBS, cement and GGBS combination, cement and fly ash combination with various percentages. So, you can see the seven days and 28 days results. Seven days results with fly ash is a bit better. The reason being the replacement levels are low uh, with OPC because we have more clinker to hydrate. Whereas in GGBS mixes, uh, we have got better strength on 28 days. So like uh, M20 instead of uh, 30 MPA, 34 MPA we have got, M25 34.5 MPA, 40 MPA, M30 40, 46 instead of 40, fly ash mixes Almost 5 MPA improvement is there in the GGBS mixes. That is the beauty of GGBS. 
So this is a graphical representation where uh, we are uh, showing that how the GGBS mixes are superior to triash mixes. Similarly, uh, we have done other experiments also. This is one experiment what we have done with an IR replacement of GGBS. So look at this M25 grade of concrete where 130 is the OPC content, 190 is the GGBS content. All put together 320 kgs. You can see 7 days, 28 days, 56, 90, up to 90 days we have studied the results. The M25 grade concrete becoming um, 33 MPA on 28 days, which is your requirement, minimum requirement. And 56 days, 42 MPA. And 90 days, 48 MPA. So the M25 grade concrete almost becoming double in strength. So with that, the moment the strength increase means uh, the impermeability will also increase. The flexural strength will improve. Tensile strength will improve. So these are all phenomena. Because as, as and when the compressive strength of the members increase, Naturally, other ingredients also, other uh, components of the strength parameters, flexural strength, water impermeability, um, then tensile strength, all will enhance. Similarly, we have done durability also. So durability study means RCPT value. Um, uh, I think you may not be able to see completely this because very small in number. Uh, so what has happened is that uh, without uh, GGBS, the RCPT value was 2,220, which has become 1,034 with 25% GGBS, 628 with 40% GGBS, 526 with 55% GGBS. So as we increase the percentage of GGBS, the RCPT value is coming down. That is the beauty of GGBS. And also, there's improvement in tensile strength uh, from 1.9 to 2.64. Then flexural strength from 4.77 to 5.97. These are the various advantages of using GGBS. So many buildings have been done. This is one high-rise building which has been completed by Shobha Indraprastha project at Bangalore. And where the My One former, they had a cycle time of four to five days. They have utilized 55% GGBS for M25 grade of concrete. You can see the uh, flowable characteristics how the uh, strength improvement is there. The M50 grade becoming uh, M78 uh, MPA on 181 days. Uh, I was a witness to this uh, experiment myself personally. And uh, here, the M25 grade concrete has become 55.6 MPA in 183 days. So this is the laboratory record where they are maintained. Just to give more clarity to all of you, I have just uh, taken the screenshot of that and uh, presented here. So practically, we have measured the practical situation, the improvement, not only at the laboratory level, but at the uh, site level, we have done this. Similar way, many metro projects in Bangalore, Metro Pune, they are using GGPS for uh, underground construction as well as elevated corridors. The Pune uh, the underground metro in Mumbai, M40 grade concrete using GGPS. Here, the OPC content is 237 kg. GGBS percentage is 218. Along with microsilica, this is an uh, M40 grade concrete. They have used it. Bangalore Metro, our own Bangalore Metro, Larson and Tubro, they have used GGBS 120 kg and uh, OPC 380 kg for making these uh, precast elements for underground metro constructions. Similarly, M35 grade concrete, a Bangalore metro. GGBS is 218 kg and OPC 260 kg. GGBS used at 46%. So we can fine tune the mixes sir, because we have a separate GGBS, we have a separate cement. So based on your strength requirement, durability requirement, you can alter the uh, combination of the mixes which doesn't come with a pre-blended PSC cement or composite cement. Bangalore International Airport Terminal 2 building, they have utilized GGBS huge quantity. This is the combination at Bangalore International Airport, 228 kg OPC, GGBS 148 kg. 
Similarly, Cable State Bridge in Goa project, one of the iconic uh, structures uh, which has come up in Goa. Then, uh, this is uh, the uh, Amravati project which was uh, stalled by the government. Uh, they, Sapurji Palonji, they went up to 60% GGBS in the mix. See, OPC is 185 kg, GGBS 275 kg, 60%, because they had to control the temperature, because the raft was almost uh, uh, three and a half meter height. And many durability properties have been studied, water penetration test, RCPT value, what absorptions, all these things have been studied with the concrete. So there are many examples. It can go on and on. So where, wherever the surface life has to be enhanced, 120 to 150 years, we need GGBS as a product. This is longest sea bridge, Mumbai Trans Arbor Ceiling Project, where uh, they are doing concreting. You can see they are using a huge percentage of GGBS. Similar way, we can use GGBS in the block production also. We have done replacement of 30%, uh, 40%. Here, uh, this is very cost effective in the blocks. We say make the block very much green. Uh, more profit to the manufacturer, lesser CO2 emissions because you are blending. So we are able to supply in the GGBS bags also, uh, where you can mix with OPC cement because you don't have a batch, uh, batching plan. You can mix at the site also. That's quite possible. And we have worked out a saving by 50% replacement of GGBS in the block industry. This is the workings we have done. All the results were passing as per the IS norms. Uh, almost 2 rupees per block uh, we could save by using GGBS with 50%. These are the workings available. So apart from that, we have tried with the door frames, paper blocks, small, small uh, elements, all that we have done. The reason behind, like wherever the cement is being used, you can definitely do it actually. So advantages using GGBS in drainage cover slabs, improved compressive strength, enhanced structural strength, good surface finish, better cost saving, enhanced durability. So various things. So coming to the uh, other parameters, the durability parameters of uh, GGBS are many. Chloride penetration. With various percentage of GGBS, uh, if you are using 80% GGBS, uh, the penetration levels are zero. That is the reason marine structures, they're going up to 70, 75% GGBS replacement. You can design structure and also give a compressive strength attainment up to 56 days, 90 days, based on your loading of the structure. But uh, higher replacement level will always improve the performance of the concrete durability aspects. Sulfate resistance. Go with more than 50% replacement of OPC with GGBS, your uh, sulfate resistance will improve phenomenally. Heat of hydration, especially mass concreting applications, using GGBS up to 70% will bring down the uh, rising temperature inside the concrete body, especially in mass concreting applications. So appearance is whitish in nature, it gives a better finish, better uh, aesthetic appearance. We can make use of this product in uh, various other uh, uh, product manufacturing, tile adhesives, putty, ready plaster, we can use this product. So architectural qualities, very smooth finish, good appearance. And apart from that, if you use for the concrete roads, especially GGBS, and, uh, it, uh, it will be uh, more of off white in nature and also the albedo effect. Okay, like uh, the heating will come down. The urban heat island effect will not be created. So lighter members uh, does not absorb more heat. That's what I was telling. So urban heat effect can be reduced because all the cities are covered with bitumen uh, roads. Black in nature absorbs a lot of energy. 
uh, absorb a lot of heat and create a surrounding environment warmer compared to the uh, dining area. So we using DGBS based concrete roads it will definitely help to reduce the urban in effect. So the benefits with concrete are long term strength, lower permeability, higher serviceability, resistance to sulfates, better resistance to corrosion. These are the various benefits. So why you use DGBS PSC from JSW? Because JSW having the very good quality limestone I mean, uh, limestones as well as uh, slag available. It's having very good quality fly ash available with our own uh, thermal power plants, our steel plants. So using those materials with our own um, tailor-made manufacturing techniques, you know, effect we can uh, give a good quality product to the consumers. So we have a manufacturing facility now, uh, Dolby Maharashtra, Vijayanagar, uh, then we have Nandyal. So recently we started producing DGBS in Salboni, West Bengal, and we're expanding everywhere. So currently, so our, for only for DGBS, 5.5 million ton capacity, one of the biggest capacity in India for DGBS manufacturing. Okay. So multiple benefits of DGBS, best durability, best sustainable material, best architectural uh, material because of its whiter and brighter in nature. So you can ask me where and all this product is being utilized. So the product is being utilized everywhere. Okay. And also many uh, specifications and approvals are there. Bangalore Metro, Mumbai Metro, uh, then Coastal Road Project, Konkan Railways Corporation are using the product. Pune Metro, many municipality corporations, uh, schedule of rates of PWD, Central PWD, Karnataka PWD, Karnataka Irrigation Department, BWSSP, uh, everywhere the product has been approved for usage because of the advantages. Airport Authority of India. So everywhere we have got the approvals with us. Many codal provisions like IS 16714 is the code for DGBS. IS 16262 also incorporated in their mixed design, the usage of DGBS. IS 456 has incorporated. Many other government IRC codes are there. IRC 15 2017 is code of practice for construction of joint Playing concrete pavements, the PQC, they, they have approved the usage of DGBS 50%. So, my dear uh, friends, like uh, for the last six years, uh, we have sold uh, various uh, quantities of uh, DGBS to the construction industry. So, with that, uh, what is that uh, you have done? We have compiled. Uh, so, in six years, we have produced 80.91 million cubic meter of concrete. Okay, using GGBS. So it has replaced 12.33 million tons of cement by virtue of replacement of 40%. Saved electric energy at 1.07 million kilowatt. Okay. Saving in thermal energy is 8.91 million kilojoule. Reduction in CO2 emissions, which is very important, 9.12 million metric ton of CO2, equivalent to planting 9.12 million trees. Imagine, 90 lakh trees plantation we have done using this product. It's equivalent to that actually. Limestone conservation is about 14.05 million tons. And also saved landfill mass of 14.82 million metric tons from landfill dumps. So these are the various advantages of using GGBS. This is what we have done in the last six years. The so product has IGBC green certification. It's a won uh, many awards. The Golden Peacock Eco Innovation Award JSW was able to get. So with all that, what has happened? JSW has become most eco-friendly cement company in the world. Our carbon footprint is less than 215 kg for every ton of cementitious materials compared to the world average of 600, Indian average of 580 kg per ton. So, ours is very, very low. Using this product, we have built many iconic structures. Uh, one of the leading structural consultants of Bangalore, uh, Design Tree, they have used uh, PSC cement for the entire corporate office building and uh, they have given the appreciation letter. 
to us then you can look at uh, many uh, projects prestige jindal city prestige uh, waterfall prestige westwoods finsbury park brigade group projects all high rise buildings in bangalore they are using ggps shobha indraprastha shobha dream makers satwa many projects so our ggps also is involved in the construction of ram janmabhoomi temple the foundation which was designed for infinity and uh, the ggps went from our mumbai plant even though it was costlier than cement because of the durability parameters uh, with the combination of lya ggps and cement they designed the foundations on that you now the superstructure is coming now so many projects we have got many mysore uh, bangalore mysore express way residential towers nice road mass housing projects everywhere ggbs is there apart from that we have started our own rmc division where we are putting our rmc plant which make uh, eco friendly concretes sustainable concretes so this is our uh, total clientele uh, we have uh, all major infra companies associated with us kc tata projects of cons ncc hcc soma then many rmc plants are using ggps apart from the building product manufacturing company like uh, ramco industries hil hyderabad industries limited visaka industries everest sayadri these are all our customers who are using ggps so many builders raheja corp sumadura aparna panchil shobha jmc they are using our product so good luck to conclude my presentation today by saying that this is a very eco friendly mineral additive ggps the well established product well proven product with lot of approval from government lot of codal approvals and uh, i request the engineers from government departments and also the students who are participating to start using this product either you use blended cement in concrete making slag cement or composite cement or use ggbs in ready mix concrete manufacturing so impressive track record proved worldwide tire replacement with enhanced capabilities to increase chemical resistance sulfate resistance so we all together being engineers we have to create a new world where we are reducing the uh, carbon footprint every cubic meter of concrete we are making we should uh, look at how we can make the concrete sustainable and durable all the specifiers consultants industry uh, people should adopt the usage of this products to reduce the carbon so that we can make a better world together and achieve the uh, objective of reaching net zero by 2050 so i would like to conclude my presentation by saying that we all have a responsibility to play each and every engineer who are working in the field in the design office the architectural office so we should approve and specify green products which are eco friendly if you don't approve then people straight away go with obc cement because generally it's available in plenty and uh, you try to create more emissions that should not happen we should keep on using sustainable materials blended cements ggbs fly ash all these green products for the construction so thank you very much thank you venkatesh babu sir uh, thank you dr velar mangna sir you have presented very well and you have given a clear picture about the ggbs production from the production aspects and what are the various uh, advantages of using ggbs along with the opc cement and you have given all the test reports also and also you have shared all the application part of ggbs because now as per the new guidelines given by the concrete mix design so always you have to design with eco green concrete green concrete the green concrete can be produced only with the help of mineral admixture this is ggbs of the widely used material replacement metal of cement compared to fly ash and other replacement material and now you all know that what are the advantages and disadvantages i request all the nirmiti kendra engineers try to implement whenever the opportunity is given 
to design a mixture <coughs> mixed design of concrete with replacement of cement only i think uh, it is available in terms of bag also readily available because if there are very small projects also you always uh, give uh, this preference this is uh, what you call a blended cement uh, manjana sir has given clearly blended cement is available in pack also 50 kg bags are available therefore you have to see what is the advantage of ggbs over fly ash uh, sir has given clearly the physical what is the oxides composition so therefore you must know that what how the oxides will improve the quality of the your uh, microstructure of the concrete and uh, these are the advantages of that uh, thank you once again dr elar manjnath for uh, taking your time and sharing a lot of information about the applications of ggbs and few questions are there sanat you can just uh, take one by one just uh, from the chat box i saw that sir can answer <clears throat> what are the advantages of nano silica or uh, nano clay over ggbs see nano silica nano clay this may be almost uh, i can say 10 times finer than the ggbs so ggbs is a product that can replace your ordinary portland cement when you want i i strength concrete i grade concrete i performance concrete so you use non nano clay nano silica uh, which is almost 10 to 15 times finer than this thing okay so it's uh, to improve the i strength high durability i performance you use nano silica okay for general grades of concrete up to m60 uh, comfortably you can make with using ggbs we using ultra fine uh, slag ultra fine ggbs ultra fine i mean like uh, micro silica so these are the things okay so the nano silica particles will come where you where the uh, very high particle packing effect okay thank you sir next question uh, next question is with the use of ggbs how much price of the concrete is reduced only two questions it is from rohit ha huh, generally say for lower grades up to 100 rupees minimum so you look at like ggbs comes maybe 4100 200 cement is around 7000 rupees so there only that difference is there actually so you can replace 50% means the delta of 1000 rupees is always there so 150 200 rupees for higher grade it may go up to 250 rupees per cubic meter savings I request all the engineers uh, don't uh, go for immediate cost analysis life cycle of the material you have to estimate that is a new trend of uh, concrete mix design what is the life cycle cost the performance based analysis you have to do to get the cost because lot of intangible benefits are there say durability is a intangible benefits your uh, structure is going to perform instead of 40 years it will go to 60 years or it may be 80 years see now the design life of the structure should be improved how you can improve only by making a very good concrete good concrete and bad concrete both it, it is in your hand only what are the various process uh, for making concrete you are adopting what are the replacement materials you are using see all these things depends upon the quality of concrete and uh, good concrete is a, are a durable concrete durable concrete improves the life cycle of the concrete therefore that cannot be estimated in terms of money therefore it may be a small difference uh, sir has told clearly the 5 to 10% there may be a cost difference but if you see the the product added in the mix uh, the long term benefits and short term benefits when you are making a concrete a workability uh, sir has mentioned how easily mix the concrete free from segregation cohesion the concrete fresh concrete must have two properties one cohesiveness another is segregation free from segregation so both you can see with the ggps replacement of more than 50% here yeah, i myself experience as a, when i am doing lot of projects guide see actually it is a more uh, cohesive mix is it not without op uh, replacement materials you will not get cohesive mix these are the some of the properties additional properties what you are going to get uh, that cannot be estimated in terms of monetary sir i am right sir manjana sir yeah very true sir very true you are a scientist uh, Not what exactly. I uh, learned from all these admixes. You have done a lot of research work and all using. I am happy to share that myself and uh, Dr. L R Manjnath awarded from Bharatiya University. Uh, we got PhD from the same university because uh, yes, Sir has done directly with the Bharatiya University MBA department. I did in PhD College of Technology, and uh, both we got degree from <laughs> Bharatiya University. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Yes. No sir, in chat box it is not there. Any particular? Okay. Any uh, wish to ask any questions to clarify? 
See, all the code books are allowed. BIS code, IRC codes, all the codes are allowed to use this material. Now it is in the hands of the engineers. How you are going to implement? As an engineer, you have a responsibility for the society and you are the person to convince the clients, convince the end users. Therefore, I request on this occasion, take some of the... Yeah, Arpita, Arpita, please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Can, can you hear me, sir? Hello. Uh, sir, I'm a... Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Arpita. I'm working as an engineer at PWD Karnataka. Yeah, madam. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah, sir, my, uh, just one doubt I have, sir. Yes. Uh, yeah. You have mentioned that usage of GGBS with OPC, normal cement. Is there mm. any research is going on with uh, uh, demolition waste or any other waste can be mixed with GGS, the performance analysis? Yeah, yeah. See, construction demolition waste is a different field altogether. In a demolished building, you have to process. Yes. In the process, you get uh, aggregates, recycled aggregates, you get recycled sand. You take it out, but uh, yes, yes, uh, see, we can replace up to 25% recycled aggregate. IS383 will allow you to use this material, sir. fine aggregate and coarse aggregate, so 25 to 50% for lean concrete, sir. For RCC and all, they are allowing okay. 25%. So you have to have a blend of this material, sir. Okay. You can uh, mix okay. it with uh, GGBS concrete. There is no problem at all. But it will replace only the form of an aggregate. It will not enhance the strength, I think, sir. That's what you mean. No, 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 no. See, you are replacing uh, these uh, CND waste as a uh, coarse aggregate or fine aggregate. GGBS yes. is a cementitious material. It is replacing yes, uh, Portland cement. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So GGBS is a cementitious material. So we have one more product called slag sand. So the, that is equivalent to yes, your uh, uh, fine aggregate and also equivalent to your CND waste fine aggregate. So that also we can make use. Starting from 25 to 50 percent, you can use this. Okay. The combination oh, okay. of uh, materials. Yeah, man. Generally, the demolished waste, water recycled aggregates you are using, you cannot make any structural concrete. It is a non structural concrete of less than 20 MPA. Still, uh, many works have not seen. If anybody is doing research, you have to think twice on how to improve as a structural concrete. Even wherever you are getting the material from the demolished. Uh, Recycle the aggregate. Some sites are there near Elans also. I will say that they have clearly mentioned not to use for structural concrete. That means RCC you cannot use, PCC you can use. All recycled aggregates. Yeah, yeah. Now the certain courts are permitting even yeah. structural concrete also. Yeah. The percentage is limited to 25%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 100% so is always, 100% yeah. is always there. And also, I request all the participants to give your feedback and also the other dignitaries can give for uh, feedback forms, fill the feedback uh, for the certification. Thank you once again, uh, Dr. L. Manjana, sir, for your valuable time and sparing a lot of information. See, it is the need of the hour. All the engineers must acquire some knowledge with respect to usage of uh, various cement uh, and replacement materials and also how to make a good and durable concrete. Yeah, thank you once again to all of you, all the participants, I'll thank. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Also, last thank but you. not least, uh, my online coordinator, Dr. Sanat Kumar, sir. He is only coordinating all online programs from Nagarjuna College of Engineering Technology because uh, he is rendering his service. Uh, thank you, Sanat Kumar, once again. I'm audible. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. I will. Can I leave? Of sir, sir, uh, Manjana, sir, we, I will fix an appointment with our director, sir. We will meet and discuss. Okay, you. okay. Thank my you. pleasure, my pleasure. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank okay. you, all the participants, for participating. My pleasure. Thank the you. The recording has stopped. Yes, sir.